Hey everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. All right, we got game number 26 tonight. LA in Montreal to take on the Canadians. We played them, um, was it November 25th, something like that? And uh, they sort of, uh, they kicked our asses, right? Uh, for nothing uh, loss there for Montreal. But that was in LA. Um, and now they're back home in Montreal. We'll see if there's any difference there. I've got uh, some news about the game, I guess, and uh, the Habs. I've got the lineups. I've got stats for the game, and I've got the guess the score contest. If you guess the score of the game and the first goal scorer of the game, and you can pick that guy from either team, and you need to be the first person in the chat with that score and uh, and player, and you win the $10 prize directly into your bank account via Interact. And we had our first winner um, the last game, we had our first winner, Bob's your uncle, uh, won, um, the, yeah, for the first time this season. And uh, last season, we had a few winners, like, really early on, and then nobody. And this season, it took a while to get the first winner. It's not an easy contest to win. Good luck to everybody. Leave your comments in the um, or your guesses in the comment section. All right, so um, I've got a little bit of news. Um, you might know this already about Arbor Jacki that he was demoted to uh, uh, to Laval, and he already played his first game there. Um, I think a lot of people think that it is for conditioning, or uh, a lot of rumors that they're doing that so they can trade him. Um, in case you haven't heard, that is not what it is about. The demotion to Laval is for further development. On his, I believe, just in general, his defensive game. But uh, Eric Angles, a writer for uh, a Habs writer, he says it's a specific aspect of his defensive game that they're trying to develop a little further because they believe that he can be a top four defenseman here uh, because they want that physical thing that he brings that not a lot of players, there's very few players, probably count them on your hands that bring what Arbor brings to the table as far as physical and intimidation, intimidation wise. So Habs are not trading him, but he'll probably, probably be in Laval for a little while. I don't know. There's no, there's no time limit on it, obviously, but he'll probably be down there for a little while. Okay. As I said before, uh, the Kings, uh, they kicked the Habs ass November 25th in LA for nothing. It was a dominating win for LA. Can they repeat that again here? Um, they are, um, I'll get to this here. They are a perfect 10-0-0 on the road this season. So you can say they're kind of due for a loss. But on, on this here, the 10-0-0, and that ties to the NHL record for longest road winning streak from the start of a season. And uh, that matched uh, Buffalo Sabres 2006-7. Ray, no arguing. And uh, she always wants to get involved in the in the conversation. So if they win tonight, um, the Kings would uh, set a new mark and be 11 in a row. But they're kind of due for a loss. And because of that, and Montre where they are and where Montreal is, it's could this could be a trap game. So I, I don't know. It could be a trap game for L.A. Hopefully it is, and Montreal pulls out a victory here. Uh, it's going to be a difficult win if they do, but let's see if they're up for the, up to the task. All right, so the next story um, that I've got, I don't know why I left that up there, but that's better looking than me, um, is a story about Slavkovsky. We all talk about, um, well, there's a lot of pressure put on him, right, uh, from the fans, from himself, from the teams. There's other pressure, though, out there for Slav, and uh, this is from a story. I don't know where the story is from. But it talks about the pressure that Slav has from just the country where he comes from, Slovakia. I'm not going to read it all. I'll start from over here. What Bob Rov said in Slavkovsky's draft analysis is true. The pressure on him is a country. Most of the games start at 1 a.m. over in Slovakia, and there are still thousands of people watching. In the daily NHL summary in one of the major newspapers literally contains a how did Slav play column his every game is analyzed not just score sheet but uh gifts and what worked and what didn't what are his teammates coaches media fans saying about his game on that particular night so um there's a lot of pressure on Slav. he's 19 years old 
he's coming along just fine. When you consider all of that, uh, that, that that's an amazing kid, you know. At 19, that's he's an amazing kid. I just wanted to bring that because I found that and just to, you know, put an emphasis on what Slaff might be going through. He's in a new country, uh, a smaller rink, learning a North American game. There's a lot on this kid. So, um, you know, all the better to him uh, for how he's handling it. All right. So with the guess the score contest, I'm going to give you what I think the game is going to be. My guess doesn't count. I don't win my own money. But they beat us for nothing last time. I don't think it's going to be as dominating as that. As a matter of fact, I have a feeling Montreal will actually get a couple of goals. But I still think it'll end up 3-2 uh, for, um, for L.A. And uh, the first goal scorer is going to, I'm picking is uh, Kevin Fiala of the, of the Kings. So 3-2 L.A., Kevin Fiala. I just don't have it. Like, I hope I'm jinxing that and that Montreal does win and it is a trap game and all that. But I just, I, it's hard to envision that ahead of time considering the ass kicking they gave us. Right? I mean, all right, let's get to this game. The 15, 4, and 3 LA Kings. Now, that's a good record uh, against the 11, 11, and 3 Montreal Canadiens in Montreal. How to watch this game. My cursor is stuck. It does that every now and then. Um, so 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific on the Canadians, Canadians region, TSN 2 in English, RDS in French. In the Kings region, Bally Sports West streaming, ESPN Plus, RDS, TSN Plus, and where I'm going to watch it at Sportsnet now. And the season series, uh, like I said, they beat us for nothing November 24th. Fifth, and uh, they're, they're playing tonight. So uh, only two games of uh, this series. Hopefully Montreal can tie up this season series. It'd be nice. Home and away record. They are away 10-0-0. Perfect road record so far. Due for a loss. But then when you consider that they're going for a new uh, NHL record, they got to be pumped to do that. And I don't know if that due for a loss is going to actually mean anything. Montreal's home record is 6-8-0. Yeah. What I was going to say, yeah. Tail of the tape. Scoring chances for percentage, 46.1% for Montreal 27th, and they got a 56.6% um, for LA third in the league. I mean, Phil Deneau is a second-line center there. So, uh, you know, that's possession numbers. You know those are going to be good. Montreal's were quite good when Deneau was uh, our top center here. Goals per game, 2.80 for Montreal 27th. 3.86 for LA, that's second in the league, and a full, just a little bit over a full goal uh, more than Montreal. Goals against per game, 3.48 for the for the Habs, 26th in the league, 2.32 for the Kings, also second in the league, uh, and, and also a little bit more than a goal, a game less that they're giving up, so... I mean, if the Kings have a bad game, Montreal's got its shot. If the Kings are on their game, we don't have a hope in hell. That's what you got to figure. Power play percentage, 17.8% for Montreal, creeping back up, 22nd in the league, 19.2% for LA, 18th. Not as good of a power play as you might have imagined. PK percentage, 73.4% for Montreal, 29th, 88.4% for the Kings, third in the league. Yeah, it's going to be tough for them to get a power play goal here tonight. So we'll see what happens. Head-to-head -head record, Montreal 0-1-0, and, and they are 1-0-0. That's for this season. And we'll move on to the last 10 games. Montreal 4-5-1, and one, and they won their last game. LA 7-2-1, and one, and they won their last two. So, you know, all these stats basically show that LA is a better team. And here's the one good one for Montreal. Face-offs, 50 0.2% for LA 20th, 53.1% for Montreal, fifth in the league. Is basically the only place where, <laughs> where we're going to beat them probably uh, in this game. Shots on goal allowed and shots on goal per game. So for allowed, uh, for LA 26.9, they don't allow a ton of shots. Montreal allows 33.9 on average. And shots on goal four, 33 even for um, the Kings and 28.5 for Montreal, so both stats for LA better than Montreal, so uh, once again, we might not, uh, it might not be a good night, but it also, you know, I think it could be. 
Players to watch over the last five games for points. Trevor Moore, six points for L.A. Nick Suzuki, four points for Montreal. Goals, Trevor Moore with three. And Sean Monaghan with two for Montreal. Assists, Adrian Kempe with uh, five. And Nick Suzuki with three. And plus minus, Trevor Moore, plus six. And Jake Evans, a plus three. Team leaders in goals, Trevor Moore, 12. Sean Monaghan, 8. In points, Adrian Kempe, 23. Nick Suzuki, 21. Average time on ice, Drew Doughty, 25-37. Mike Matheson, 24-53. And wins, Cam Talbot, 11. And Sam Montembeau, 6. Standings, Atlantic standings, top to bottom. Boston, Florida, Detroit, and Tampa. And I, I want to gloat a little bit over this. Toronto has fallen out. They're only three points ahead of us, but I, I, you can't really because they got three games in hand. So I still want to say F, F Toronto. Who cares? I obviously seem to because I keep harping on it. So, yeah, Montreal's next at sixth place, and uh, Buffalo and uh, Ottawa rounded out. Um, but, geez, Ottawa's played like 20 games. That's it. That they really they're gonna be tired at the end of the season. They must gotta make it up at some point in the season. NHL standings, where is Montreal? They are at 22nd, three teams ahead of them, Nashville, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, and then right behind them, Calgary, Minnesota, and Buffalo. So uh, you know, they're they're that's right around where I thought they would finish up at the end of the season, um, before the season started, but it's still early, and who knows. Habs score. I want to actually do LA scoring first. LA scoring top six here because I wanted to get to know in there. Uh, Campy with eight goals, 15 assists, 23 points, plus 14. Trevor Moore, 12 goals, nine assists, 21 points, plus nine. Kopitar, Anze Kopitar, 10, 11, and for 21 points. And that is a plus 13 for him. Kevin Fiala. Six goals, 15 assists, 21 points, minus one. Uh, he's my guy today for the first goal. Quinton Byfield, six goals, 12 assists, 18 points, plus 12. And Phil Deneau, six goals, nine assists, 15 points, and a plus six. For Montreal, uh, I'm going to do top six. Suzuki leading the way, seven goals, 14 assists, 21 points, minus eight. Caulfield, seven and 13 for 20 points. He's even. Matheson, 5 and 13 for 18 points minus 9. Sean Monahan, 8 and 7 for 15 points minus 5. Newhook is 7 and 6 for 13 points minus 5. And Brendan Gallagher, 5 and 5 for 10 points and a minus 12. So the plus minus number is not really good there. The goalies tonight. Monty is a Nets for Montreal. This I know. I'm not sure if Cal Talbot is. And or that, you know, um, I got this from uh, the NHL uh, website. So they're either accurate or they're just assuming because they're both le- these both goalies are leading their teams. So I don't know. For Monty, uh, his record is um, I-, I cut that off. Look at that. You know why? This is a new setup. So listen, Monty, I believe, is six, three and uh, one. And uh, two six six goals against and a nine thirteen save percentage. No shutouts. Um, they don't give shutouts for this. I don't know why. Talbot eleven four and one one nine six goals against and a nine three zero save percentage. But I believe he also doesn't have any shutouts. But I'm not positive on that. All right, we're down to the lines. LA's lines: Kopitar, Byfield, Kempe, first line. Dano, Moore, Fiala, second line. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Grunstrom, and uh, Laferriere, third line, uh, Blake Lizotte, Kaliev, and Trevor Lewis, third li- fourth line. Anderson and Doughty, first pair, Gavrikov and Roy, second pair, England and Spence, third pair, Talbot starting. Copley is the backup for Montreal. I believe the only change is on the fourth line where uh, Armia is out. And Mike Pizzetta is in. So you got Suzuki, Slavkovsky, Caulfield, Evans, Monahan, Anderson, Dvorak, Pearson, Gallagher, Stevens, Pizzetta, Ulladin, 
Matheson and Lindstrom, Gooley and Barron, Struble and Kovacevic. Monty is starting. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your starting lineup for the game tonight. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about this game maybe being a trap. And give your guess for the guess to score contest in the comments. And that's it. I'll see you tonight at the uh, the hangout at 7 o'clock and the post game right after the game. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Peace out, y'all. I'll speak to you soon. See you soon. Ciao, everybody.